Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, Nobara has released a new version of their uh, system and I believe it's version 39, but let's read what it says right here. Nobara project is a modified version of Fedora Linux with user-friendly fixes added to it. The distribution comes with certain features that do not ship with the regular Fedora. The project's latest release is version 39, which streamlines a few features. And in red, we have, we've removed the codec installer and instead integrated it as part of the update system app. The goal here was to streamline package updates into one place and give less pop-ups for the user on clean installation. Now, when a user performs a new installation, they will receive one pop-up informing them they should update the system. Upon updating, they will then be asked a few questions, including updating media codec packages, updating flat packs, and updating snaps. There is still a pop-up for NVIDIA drivers if the user decides to change GPUs and or did not install using an NVIDIA ISO image and has an NVIDIA GPU. So if you want to check out uh, some more information on the bar, you can always go on uh, Distro Watch and you can see it. it's on the front page and you can see it's the latest release. So let's head on over to the uh, virtual machine and take a look at Nobara version 39. And here we are on the uh, virtual machine. Uh, it uses the Calamari's installer and I've already installed it. So we're on the live system already now. Well, not live, it's actually installed on a virtual machine. So this is not a live CD. But like I said, I just ran through the Calamari's installer, which we've seen a million times already. And I am on the first boot. And right here we have a pop-up that has a question. We detected this is a new Novara installation. Before moving on, it is required that you perform a system update. Would you like to do this now? I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it's asking for it. And what I'll do is uh, I'll edit the video and then uh, when we come back, it'll all be completed and you won't even notice. But while it is updating, we have the uh, welcome screen open, so we can take a look at that. And you can see it says right here, Nobara welcome. Welcome to the Nobara project. And we have first steps. It's kind of set up kind of like a Linux Mint. We have rec first steps, recommended additions, optional steps, look and feel, troubleshoot issues, join the community, contribute to Nobara, and credits. So right here, you can update the system, install video drivers, uh, more apps from the software center, and you can even install web apps. Web apps is something that uh, basically uh, installs a web page like if it was an app. So uh, it's been around for a while, and I think it's Linux Lite that first started uh, doing this. I could be wrong, but now a lot of systems are starting to use it. So this is the first steps. Then on recommended additions, take a look at that. We have install Blender, Kden Live, OBS Studio, and Discord. Then we have uh, optional steps. Uh, I was asking if you want to uh, install the X X1 drivers, Proton, Steam game fixups, and DaVinci Resolve fixups. Then you have a. Uh, all right, back to it. So back under look and feel, we could we could set up uh, the login manager or themes themselves. And then we have another tab for troubleshoot issues right here. You can uh, looks like these are web pages, and you also have an update the system. Then you have a join the community tab, which one is for Discord and the other is for uh, subreddit. And then we have a contribute to Nabara. So if you want to help out the guys at Nabara, you can always contribute. And then on the credits. And this is your welcome. All right, while the installer is still updating, let's take a look at uh, the bottom panel. I believe this is using the KDE Plasma uh, desktop environment. I didn't uh, read anything about that, but it pretty much just looks like it. Yeah, it's plasma. 
All right, so on the uh, lower right of your uh, panel, you have your system tray. And then on your lower left, you have some pinned applications. And the last button is going to be your application menu. So right here, you can see we have favorites, all applications, administration, development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, then we have a settings, system, utilities, lost and found, and your help. All right, let's take a look right here. Nobara is uh, said to be a good gaming distro, so I think they have a lot of uh, a lot of setup for games themselves. So over here on the games tab, you can see they have a Go G overlay. Uh, never seen this before, so let's open it up, see what happens. All right, this first window just looks like it's a. I guess it gives you some uh, your GPU status and CPU status and your frames per second and what's going on. All right, so I guess the bigger you set it, the more it uh. The more it slows down. All right, let's get back to games. Let's see, host remote play. Let's see what this does. So, I said it was going to update the Steam environment, the runtime environment. So, while it's doing that, let's go back to games. Let's take a look at Lutris. Looks like Lutris is going to update also. I guess all of these, when you open them up for the first time, it looks like they're going to update. So, right now, Steam is updating and Lutris are updating at the same time. So, let me go back to the games and then Proton Up QT. Let's see what this does. Most likely, they said on there it was going to install Proton. So, and that's usually has something to do with Steam itself. So right here I got Steam going. Okay, and Lutris has opened up. All right, while uh, Steam is still updating in the background, we can open up Lutris. And we can see right here that, uh, let's see if we get a, yes we do. Lutris 0 0.5.14, video game preservation platform. So, I've never actually used Lutris myself, but I'm going to guess that this is something like uh, Steam, where you can install games and launch it from here. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments if I'm right, wrong or not. Uh, but that's what I think Lutris is. I've seen a few videos, videos about it, but you know, that was in the past. But I've never used it myself. So you have one tab for games, one tab for recent, favorites. And it's got a button here that says Lutris. Let me shut this down while we're taking a look at Lutris. All right, so we've got a button here for Lutris and GOG, Epic Game Store. I guess these are different uh, game games that you can install or game developers. And it even has a tab right here for Steam. So I guess Steam Steam games will go here. All right. So I guess the first one is for Lutris games. This is for GOG games. And this is for Epic games, EA games, Ubisoft games, and Steam games. So let me go ahead and shut that down because I'm not going to do that. Then we have a flat pack section, a Linux section, another Steam section, and a Wine section. So I guess for your window controls. So... This is a uh, Lutris right here. Uh, let me see what was this right here. I'm going to close that. And back to the games. And we have Steam. I think Steam is going to try to give me the login, so I don't know how much I can actually take a look at. Yeah, I see. So it wants me to take a look. 
It wants me to install some, uh, not install, but it wants me to enter my login info, but as you can see here, I'm not doing that right now. So I'll just go ahead and close Steam. All right, well, like I said, this system is heavily based on uh, gaming. So, uh, I mean, this specific distro itself is heavily based on gaming. So I guess this would be the go-to for everyone to check out. But you do have your regulars, you do have your multimedia, your internet, which right here, they're actually using the Chrome browser. But uh, let's take a look at some uh, system, go console, the terminal. See if we can get some uh, system info and resources. First, we'll try HTOP to see if that is installed, and it's not. Uh, but top is installed. Top is kind of like HTOP. It's just, uh, it's not organized properly, but uh, it is just like HTOP. And it pretty much reads the same thing, gives you your load averages. All right, that's top. It's not eight stop. It's top. But let's see if they have Neo Fetch. And they do. So let me just uh, clear the screen, and we'll do it again. And I'll make it bigger so we can take a look. And you can see right here we're running Nobara Linux 39, the kernel 6.6.8. .6 and your desktop environment is going to be Plasma. And some info, some info on the console itself. Console version 23.08.4. And that's your terminal emulator. All right. Let's take a look at our system settings real quick. Right here is where we can, uh, play with the, uh, with the theme in. So uh, if I open up the appearance tab, you can see the themes right here. So right now it's set to Nabara. This is its uh, original theme, but you also have the Breeze. And I believe Breeze Bark is gonna be something similar to the Nabara theme. Then you have Breeze Twilight. And back to the Nobara, which is the original one we're on. And you can also change the application style, the plasma style, cutters, windows, fonts, icons, cursor, splash screens. It's a lot you can do with this. All right, now let's take a look at our backgrounds. So configure desktop and wallpapers by right clicking anywhere on the screen. And let me move this to the corner. So you can see this is the one that's selected right now that we have. So we can change it to that one, which is similar. It looks like it was gonna change without clicking, yeah. Without having to click uh, apply, it looks like it's getting it done. All right, you can see there's a long list of uh, wallpapers you can use here. Got some kaiju penguins going on here. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave it alone, stick with it. So this is Nobara, like I said, it's really focused on gaming. So for all you gamers out there who wanna be on Linux and get your best uh, gaming performance, ah, use Nobara. It's a pretty simple install, it's based on Fedora. Everything's working correctly, so no problems here. Right, I recommend it. But just always remember, if you're going to test something out, do it in a virtual machine first, and then uh, put it on bare metal. That way you can see any problems that arise before you even install it. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you can, give the video a like. And if not, you can always use a thumbs down. All right. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Check out more Linux content. And I'm out.